Hello guys, this is Adip. Welcome to my channel Movement Science, where I simplify biomechanics and lot of ortho topics with Joe. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also check me out on Instagram, where I post pictures of my notes and also put out daily MCQs with which you can brush up your biomechanics. The reference time for all the topics that I'm going to cover will be mentioned down in the description. So check that out and let's get started. In this video, we are going to talk about the muscles around the hip joint or you can also say the kinetics of the hip joint. The reason for the movement that occurs around the hip joint that are the muscles. So I would say I've done a pretty fair job at classifying these muscles and making some mnemonics so that you can remember these muscles very easily. So before we learn about each muscle, we, I'll first give you an overview about all the muscles. And before that, I like to start with some qualities of the hip muscle. So the main function of your hip joint is weight bearing. Okay. So the muscles around the hip joint, they help you provide the stability and it helps in weight bearing function. And a very important fact about these muscles are that these muscles, they work best in the mid range. That is when they are in a slightly stretched position. Why do I say so? Because most of these muscles are a two joint muscle. That means they cross two joints. Hence the principle of active and passive insufficiency acts also over here. What is it? It tells that when the muscle is in a very contracted state or in a very lengthened state, it cannot generate that much amount of force, right? So that is what is applicable over here too, because most of the muscles over here are two joint muscles. Another interesting thing about hip joint muscles are they change their function according to the position. So depending upon the position of the hip joint, the same muscle might be doing some other work or the other movement. Okay. So for example, your flexors and adductors kind of coincide over here. So if you take it adductor magnus, adductor magnus does adduction, but sometimes depending upon the hip position, it can also do flexion of the hip. Another example would be your piriformis muscle over here. Piriformis muscle does medial rotation at hip joint when your hip joint is at 90 degree but when the same hip joint is at 0 degree that is when there is no flexion happening the same piriformis muscle will cause lateral rotation at the hip joint so now that we know some of the properties of the hip joint muscle let us go on to the classification of this muscle but before starting with that i would like to mention that i won't be talking about the exact attachment of these muscles definitely i'll be talking about where they are coming from so that we can understand how they will contract and how they can bring about the action on Joe. So that is not a problem, but I won't be talking about the exact attachment and insertion points of these muscles because that would be uh, something that should be dealt in anatomy. So let's start with the classification. So there is flexion and extension forward and backward movement, adduction and abduction, which are inward and outward movement and medial and lateral rotation. So if you first look at the flexor adductors and medial rotators, I've made a mnemonic for them. So that is T R I P S that is trips. And over here you can see P G right the postgraduate. So what you can remember is postgraduate trips on what are the other adductors adductors longus, adductor brevis and adductor magnus, which are pretty easy to remember because all are adductors, right? So a P G that is postgraduate trips on adduction. So this is the mnemonic you can remember. PG trips on adduction for flexors and adductors, right? And then for medial rotators, you can remember GTG that is gluteus medius and gluteus minimus with, along with TFL that is got to go, right? So, so this is the mnemonic you need to remember for this side. And over here, it's pretty easy because the extensors are gluteus maximus. We all know about gluteus maximus, then hamstring, which also we are very familiar to and gluteus medius, then abductors are your gluteus medius again it's a common abductor and also an extensor and gluteus minimus so both are gluteus under abductors and then lateral rotators there is obturator so with obturator you have internus externus then there is gemellus which has again superior and inferior and then there is quadratus femoris that you need to remember okay and then the pyriformis is there on both the medial and lateral rotator side because 
it does the function of both medial and lateral rotation depending upon the position that is position of the hip joint right so now let's look at the trips muscle so there are flexors there is tensor fascia lata rectus femoris iliacus psoas major these two muscles can be combined and called as iliopsoas and then the sartorius muscle and the other flexors are adductor magnus and pectineus right so these are the other two flexors then under adductors again the adductor magnus and pectineus comes because they change their function according to the position then there is gracilis adductor longus and adductor brevis again don't get worried about so many muscles when we'll be talking about them each of them in depth you'll retain the concept way better and this mnemonic is just for you to get the names of the muscle more quickly okay so these are the adductors then medial rotators are gluteus medius tfl that is tensor fascia lata gluteus minimus and piriformis over here we talked about these muscles too right so this was a general overview of the muscles around the hip joint in next video we'll be focusing on the flexors and also maybe the adductors depending on how long the video goes so that's all for today guys see you soon in the next video if you like my content please share it with your friends don't forget to hit that subscribe button and please like the video as it really helps me out and also let me know in the comment section what other videos you would like me to cover and see you soon in the next video